Hey there, welcome to this week's edition of the SNL Weekend Update. Scott and, and Lane. Awesome. Welcome back, Scott. Thank you very much. I know I missed last week and the ratings probably went through the basement. Uh, but now they're going to go through the roof. Excellent. So here we go. Let's get started with today's, this week's tips from the trenches. It's all about home warranties and how they benefit our sellers and our buyers. It's generally a warranty that's an insurance policy basically that's put on the home for the benefit of the buyer and it's good for the first year after they buy the house and typically in our marketplace the seller pays for it. Lane, elaborate. Sure, and I just want to preface first that this uh, home warranty policy in, is addition, in, in addition to your homeowner's insurance policy because a lot of times we have clients that kind of confuse the two. Good question. Um, good. So, but basically we just had a great win for our clients. Uh, they've recently purchased a home and they had an appliance repair that was needed. So they call the, the home warranty company. Correct. There is a, a small service fee, but they came out and replaced completely that appliance, and it was a twenty-four hundred dollars savings for them. Wow! So they saved twenty-four hundred dollars, and guess what? That home warranty, one-year home warranty policy, was paid for by the seller, not the buyer. Correct. So it's up to us on how we negotiate for our clients and the offer. And we always ask for an upgraded policy. We always ask for additional benefits in addition to just the standard stuff, and we know exactly how to do it. That's a great point. And there's so many changes all the time. We just sold a house, for example, that had an outdoor kitchen. I don't see those too often. This one had an outdoor kitchen, and we actually found out new to 2020 with the home warranty company we prefer, they've added an option for an outdoor kitchen. So this $10,000 outdoor kitchen was added to the home warranty policy so our clients now know they can grill and comfort this summer and not worry about a thing. And a new uh, benefit to the home warranty policy now is when you purchase a home, they actually have a, a, a thing where you can change your locks. Seriously? Yeah, you can change your locks. So instead of uh, most people, if not all, they like to change toilet seats yes. and they like to change locks. Those are the big two. Those are heard. the big two. Those are the big two. So yes, I mean, unfortunately, they're not going to change your toilet seats. Well, However, give them a call and they can change your locks for that same service fee. That's awesome. And generally speaking, depending on home warranty companies, that service fee runs about $75. So it's well worth it. Yeah, 75 to 80-ish. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally well worth it. But awesome. yeah, hopefully you t found value in your tips for uh, our tips from the trade trenches, right? Tips exactly. From the trenches? Absolutely. Um, but yeah, so if you have any additional questions on home warranty policy, maybe putting one, you don't have to be a new home buyer. You don't have to be a seller to have one. You can put it on one, one, put one on at any time. Mm -hmm. So just give us a call and we can help you out with that. Absolutely. Hopefully this has given you some great insight into the home warranty situation. Let's get on with our events of the week. Wow. Okay, events of the week. Here we go. All right, I'm going into Lane territory here. Mm -hmm. We know Lane is the foodie and I'm the one that just eats omelets for dinner every night at home. But I've come across what I think is going to be an awesome event this weekend in Old Town Orange around the traffic circle, which I'm an architecture buff so I can walk around that area and also look at antiques all day long. But it's the Vintage Orange Food Tour and it's March 7th, 2020 at 9 a.m. and it starts at Ruby's Diner, just off the circle. And I'm gonna just read a little bit of the f description here. It just says, check out Old Town Orange on a jam-packed four-hour walking tour of this quintessentially California area led by a friendly and knowledgeable guide. The description mm. goes on to explain all the different stops you're gonna make. It's gonna be an awesome little trek and probably a fun time for the whole family. So I think you should check that out. Yeah, so the foodie thing is definitely right up my alley, but uh, this might work out for you too because of the word here, vintage. So that might be right up your alley. Well, yeah. vintage is always my alley, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so it's a perfect second stone event. I, it's a perfect I just, combo for both. It was a little ones. dig, I'm sorry. But that was, well, so I, I dug had, at you, you dug at me. I had to do it, I had All to do right. it. All right, see, what, what's your event for the week? So what my event for the week isn't, isn't necessarily an, uh, an, orange, an event you can find somewhere in Orange County, it's somewhere you can find all over. We saw in the forecast that there's gonna be some rain possibly this weekend. A new Pixar movie came out, uh, Disney Pixar, called Onward. So it might be cool to get away and do something maybe indoors, go to the movies, take the family out, get some popcorn, get some M&Ms, and watch a really cool movie that's getting a lot of uh, good buzz already. It's called Onward, and it's it's in theaters. So Sounds I'm like really a great family opportunity. And you know what? You just rained on my parade because I'm saying get out and walk around Old Town Orange. You're saying no, it's going to rain, stay in. No, so not not necessarily. So I, I I mean, what day was this one on? That's Again, on Saturday. So Saturday is actually clear. Okay. Uh, right now it says it's clear. So I don't know if things change, but some Sunday's actually the rainy day, so get out on Saturday, maybe watch a movie on Sunday. Stay dry. Exactly. You know what? Poor Lane, I really beat up on him today, but we hope you enjoyed this, this week's episode. Stay tuned for more.